Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can edit night pictures effectively and actually make them look good, show you some tips and tricks with it, and hopefully end up with a picture like this at the end. And I'm going to do all of that from my hotel room in Bangkok. All right, so let's jump right into it. Now, first of all, I really like to have a lot of shadow details. I'm going to bring them up and also bring down the highlights. As you can see, it does a lot for the sky. Then I want to bring down the black, so there's at least a little bit of contrast, but I actually prefer the contrast slider here. Now, in terms of the color temperature, I actually prefer to have it rather cool and then just scroll right away into the split tone and go into the highlights, click on this little box and just add some warm tones. And this will just add warm tones in the actual highlights, which is, of course, a lot more selective and gives you a lot of differentiation. Then I'm going to go into the shadows of the split toning, just add a little bit of a different blue tone and then go back up to the basics. Now clarity, I think I'm going to go into the minus here. There's so much going on that I don't want to pronounce everything super much and harsh. Really works well with night pictures, also gives some atmosphere mood and vibrance. I don't want to actually go too far, so let's bring that down. In the next change, bring up the saturation. Bringing up the whites by a little bit can always help with additional dynamic of the picture. And I think that's pretty good at the start. So now I'm going to go into the tonal curve, just fine tune everything by bringing down the highlights. I, I even have more of the highlight detail here in the sky. But I also want to get, again, a bit of dynamic and doing the same thing with the shadows. Just kind of seeing what I want to do, maybe bring them up a bit and then just bring down the shadows as they affect the very dark parts only. Now, HSL tool, I definitely have to grab the hue slider here, just grab the little pinpointer, drag it over the color that I want to change, and just move around the mouse slider because I do want to make it a bit cooler, uh, or li rather lighter blue, and then go into the saturation as well, maybe bring down the blues a little bit, bring up the, the red tones and the oranges, and while I'm at it, also kind of change the yeah, the orange hue to kind of a little bit of a different color. So that's done. I'm going to skip all of the detail adjustments because I want to go straight away into the vignetting. Vignetting, of course, adds dark corners over your over your entire picture. And that really helps with adding more attention towards the center and actually also adding mood and atmosphere, making everything a little bit darker, which really works with night pictures. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to go into the camera calibration, just see what these different profiles actually look like. Depending on your camera, this will actually change what you options you have. And also you will only have these options uh, down here with the profiles if you actually shoot draw, which I would recommend you to do. So this really just changes the entire color and tries to actually match a profile within your camera by still keeping uh, the actual raw file. So you don't lose any quality, but it's, it's quite tough to choose sometimes. I think I'm actually going to go with camera portrait here. I kind of like that look and then go right away into the local adjustments. Now I'm going to grab a graduated filter real quick, drag it over the sky, bring down the exposure, mostly even uh, the highlights actually and then even bring up the white so there is still some dynamic as you can see zero whites very dull and with plus whites it adds quite a lot back then going into the color i think i'm gonna add hmm do we even want to add something yeah maybe just some purple a little bit like this and then I think that actually looks pretty good in terms of the overall sky. Now I'm going to go back into the basics of the global adjustment, just make it a bit warmer and also bring the tint a bit more into the greens because it was just too magenta. -y. Then I'm going to go real quick into the rail filters and actually add one with quite a bit of warm tones and also even go into the color here, add kind of a more of a different warm tone, just drag it over the sky like this make it a bit bigger and that is so there's at least some warm tones within the sky. You definitely have to be careful, especially if you stack them on top of each other. But I don't really like the, 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 the buildings just being very blue either. So I'm actually going to go here into the minus, expo minus saturation for just the buildings with an additional filter. And I think that is getting kind of close to the end. I I just want to see at the histogram. Okay, I'm going to make the entire picture just a hint brighter, actually, and then bring down some of the... No, instead of actually bringing down the blacks, I'm going to go into the point curve and go to medium contrast. This is a very fine structured contrast, very unique, 
but I like it quite a bit. So then I'm going to grab another graduated fulcher real quick. Always want to make sure that you have the feather at 100, invert the mask and make it a bit more bluish for the top right in the sky. So there's also some differentiation within the blue tones of the sky and kind of fine tune everything right here. So I could do a lot of tartrum burning. I don't think I really have time. Maybe I'm already a little bit over five minutes, but I just want to add a few quick filters right here. And yeah, maybe even add some blue tones right there and kind of take away these ones for the trail right there. So I think, you know, a very last thing, a little bit minus exposure with a, a rail filter over just the cars because they really stand out as being a bit too much exposure. And again, I'm going to go into the vibrance, just bring that up a little bit overall and uh, yeah, even grab a graduated filter over the top right, make it a bit warmer actually and then also bring up the whites. So I think this is where I'm going to end it. Of course, there's a lot more to be done, but this is the before and this is the after. Um, keep in mind, this is just five minute quick edit, so I would definitely fine tune the shadows a bit more with the local adjustments, but hopefully four or five minutes, you still find it helpful. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.